On behalf of the managing director of HHG Richard John Company, Mr. Gary Ebb, the managing director of Express Brazil, Mr. Roland Belmar, directors, management, and staff of both HHG Church and Express Brazil, we welcome you to the sponsorship handover ceremony of a Dominica National Cyclist. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of Ajanaya, as I just said, his father, Larry Kazumi, his co which we, we are waiting, Mr. Kevin Boyd, President of Dominica Cyclists Association, Mr. Ronald Charles, Marketing Manager of We Church, Michelle, and Operations Supervisor, Hans Victor, and of course, you, the media. Thank you for taking time to be with us here today. Mr. Kazimi, as we all know, is a well-rounded sports enthusiast who is making his mark in the international cyclist arena. Today commemorates a commitment to youth and sports development, and despite the corporate challenges that all organizations are currently facing, L'Express Brazil have come forward to support Ajanaya in sponsoring him on his cycling quest. We are indeed proud of you and your achievements thus far, and we wish him the very best in all his races. L'Express Brazil, celebrating its 35th anniversary this year, has brought the islands of Guadeloupe, Martinique, and the Dominica and St. Lucia closer together through tourism, trade, sports, festivals, and relationships. Over the years, L'Express Brazil relationship with Dominica has taken many forms than just being a simple passenger ferry. A great partner of the World Creole Music Festival carrying artists from Guadeloupe, Martinique, and France to perform in Dominica. L'Express Brazil has also played a major role during Tropical South America and Hurricane Maria. The movement of passengers after these two disasters has shown great collaboration between the people of Dominica. This is not the first sponsor in sports to be. It's not the first. L'Express Brazil has funded the rehabilitation of the Dubna Bior playing field and sports pavilion in 2017. Also, seafarers from Dominica have been given the opportunity to work on express vessels, and to date, over 15 persons have gained employment. Today is an added boost of Express Brazil. Once again, we lend support and contribute towards an expedition in assisting young Ajinaya on his journey to become an even greater cyclist. We take this opportunity to wish you well, Ajinaya. We have seen your potential and bright future ahead of you. We pray God's blessings upon you on this journey. Always remember to be respectful, ethical, competent, and disciplined. This will shape your overall behavior. Make the best of this opportunity to reach higher heights and we look forward to hearing of your success. Thank you. Management and staff of HSG Research and Company Limited and L'Express Desil are extremely elated to announce that L'Express Desil, through its general agent, Wichich, will sponsor Ajanaya Kazimi and members of his support team all of the two way L'Express Desil tickets required to compete in the French West Indies. This decision to support Ajanaya was an easy one because he has not only displayed dedication to the field of cycling, but has shown commitment to overall self-development in his community and school life. 
Like all other corporate entities, L'Express Desir has not been spared from the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. And I speak in present tense because the impact of the, of the COVID-19 pandemic is even now ongoing. In fact, after an unavoidable hiatus of two years, L'Express Desir, having just recommenced service a mere eight months ago, is still trying to return to a state of normal functioning. Nevertheless, both L'Express Desir and WeChurch are focused on their efforts to continuously give back to the local community, which has always been a pillar of support to these organizations. Although this partnership has taken effect already, today we officially confirm that the Express Desir will support Ajanaya in its capacity to bring him to and from the islands of the French West Indies for all cycling tournaments. As a matter of fact, after having just placed third in the Cyclist Decade held in Martinique a few weeks ago, Ajanaya and his support team are all set to travel to Guadeloupe this weekend to compete in yet another tournament. Ajanaya, on behalf of Gary Ed, the Managing Director of HHG with Church and Company Limited, Roland Belma, the Managing Director and Owner of L'Express Desil, and all staff of both organizations, we wish you all the best in your upcoming events and all future events. From the, from the wise words of Joey King, you have to keep going and pursue all your dreams. <laughs> Thank you to Miss uh, Joseph. So now she will do the presentation to Ajanaya. Should you need to come speak to us, talk about your races, anything school, we are here to listen to you. Thank you. Thank you. The rest of the presentation will be the Jersey yes. one time? Yes. Rambin of Jersey. Rambin of Jersey, yes. And um, throughout all, I am grateful for the bewildering support that I am that I have around me. Um, the support is it's it's just it's just uh, it, it's just an amazing feeling, and um, I I just want to thank uh, everyone for it, and um, especially for the support of um, Express um, for for the funding. It, it will it goes a long way. It really it really goes a long way and um, I and through through this um, overall this will indeed help in my training, my moving back and forth from, from the islands and for my races too. So big thank you, big thank you. I yeah, it's it's, it's just an amazing feeling. So um, I'm not gonna make it long, uh, so <laughs> Just all in all, thank you for all the support that I that I am given, and um, I, I I I thank. I wish all the best. Yes. 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 
category. So with this uh, agreement, I'm very pleased that we will give, we'll be able to travel freely between the country for the important races because most times our races are, we leave the Thursday, the race is the Saturday and we have to be hosting and stuff. So I'm very happy, very happy with this agreement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. We'll now call on the Mr. Charles from the Cyclist Association to give a few remarks. Oh, you changed? Okay. That's why that's going in order with my program. Okay, Mr. Kazimi. Oh, it's the father of Adonaya. We'll give a few remarks. All right. Good morning. Let me, um, on behalf of Adonaya's um, support team, let me um, express this you for this um, great gesture. Um, it's very good that um, corporate um, corporate, um, you all were able to push in terms of providing corporate responsibility in assisting a journey, particularly given the pandemic and the way things are around the world at this point. So our team, we are very grateful and we do hope that that will go a long way in terms of pushing a journey, not just to do races um, in the French Islands, but later down to bigger races and we can make Dominica um, proud. Um, on behalf of this team, I thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Kazumi. And now, Mr. Charles from the Cyclist Association will give a few remarks. Mr. Charles, everyone knows he's the president. So okay. I think he knows everything, and he, I guess he has yeah. seen Ajanaya perform, so he will give us some remarks right now. All right. Thank you. Let me, on behalf of the. On behalf of the Dominica Cycling Association, let me again thank the team because I realize it's a combination of companies coming together, HA3 with Chichen Company. I, of course, it's also a friend of the Dominica Cycling Association and the management has always embraced us. And the good thing about HA3 with Chichen Company, not every time the protocol must be followed in the sense that sometimes you just pick up the phone and they're willing to assist. Not saying that we will continue doing that, but just to say <laughs> that this is the kind of people that you deal with, willing to help in the area of sports. And we want to thank you and the company very much. So, cycling has started six years, seven years now, and we're proud to see Ajani, who started on a mountain bike and now he's climbing mountains. All right, <laughs> and um, he's gonna go places. I've always said, separate and apart from his ability as a sports person. I think Ajani also have the education to go with it. The way he carries himself, the way he speaks, and I think he's gonna go places because he's extremely brilliant. As a matter of fact, he's almost fluent in French already. So he's gonna go places. I just think that at the end of the day, this collaborative effort must be a holistic one and it must spread across the board. One of the challenges that we face, Dominica Cycling Association, is the issue of clubs, and equipments because it is extremely expensive to get those things going. Young people in Dominica sometimes it can be challenging. They have the skills, but the issue is they do not have the bikes. For a matter of fact, over the past couple of months we've been looking for just tubes, and you'll be amazed that we can't find it nowhere in Dominica. So these are the kind of challenges that they face. What we're hoping to do at the Dominica Cycling Association is to develop the club. And we know that once the clubs are developed, then we can have that international relationship. Hopefully very soon, sometime next year, we'll have a very large group coming down from Trinidad 
um, hopefully to collaborate some kind of activity with us. And we're looking forward to this. Um, and, and so therefore, the whole development of the sport, we have to continue to support people like Kashani. His father is doing a wonderful job as manager because Barry understands the importance of being behind him and doing the necessary promotion. Because without that too, it can be very challenging for, for, for the athletes. So we really are, you know, we appreciate what we are receiving here today. The other thing I want to say is that when we go out there, as any the coach, all of us, we must represent Dominica from a very, um, we must represent Dominica in a way that we all will be proud as being Dominicans. Because we can go out there and sometimes we can forget where we came from. All right? So while we're doing that, we want to do it holistically. Um, so congratulations to you, Ajani. Thank you to Richard. And of course, we would not say, I also want to extend this collaborative effort because the Dominica Olympic Committee is also playing a fundamental role in assisting and trying to get the athletes going from point A to point B. Our grassroots work is still ongoing and we are hoping to develop it even better. And um, that is why <laughs> I always say to people that the Dominica Cyclist Associate, we have about five members. Barry is also the treasurer of the, of the group. And it is not easy doing voluntary work and having to cater for so many young people that are interested in the sports, where it is challenging financially and to get equipment for them. But we are moving places. We have tournaments coming up in Jonti coming up, and we have Ajani um, participating in, um, in Guadeloupe. And we're hoping to have our own soon, eh? um, Tour de la Dominique. We're hoping to have it, and we're working on this one. It's going to be a very interesting challenge, so we'll have the reverse happening, and that will be one of our aim to, and we're actually working on it. We have started doing the planning and so forth, and it's going to be massive. So we, we're looking forward to this. With these few words, thank you, Richard. Continue doing the great job that you do, and we've expressed the zeal. Thank you for your good work. God bless. I wish I could ride a bike, but I'm not, so I'll have to be a spectator in that. So right now I'll ask Hans Victor, who is the operations manager, um, supervisor, sorry, of the shipping department to give the closing remarks as we come to a close right now. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Della. Um, as short as possible, uh, from the very first time that I got in communication or in touch with Ajani and his father and, and coach, I was already impressed and, and I knew that some way, somehow, we had to get involved in this. And then immediately after that, we received a, a communication from, from, from Barry for, the, for, for my director, Damian Richard Ed, and automatically it just clicked and I said to myself, we have to get involved in this young man's journey because Especially the fact that he's using express diesel to go back and forth. I think it would be, I thought it would have been just fitting to be part of his journey. And at the end, we can say that Express Diesel and Wichich supported and assisted this young man in becoming what he has become. Okay, so on that note, I am very happy, um, I'm very delighted that we were able to form this collaboration. And I must commend. Ajani's father, Mr. Mr. Barry Kazimi, because um, at the start, I used to work with him in terms of purchasing his tickets and so on and so forth, and it had to be done on a regular basis. And he spent money. I even, I even want to ask him if, if he gets assistance from anybody else. And he says no, he, but he has to do what he has to do. So, you know, I was really moved by that. Um, and I, I thought to myself, well, you know, we have to get involved in that journey with this, with, with, with this team. Um, by the time I brought it up to the commercial manager of Expresses in Wadloop, right away he said, we have to get on board on this. We have to assist. We have to be part of that journey. So I'm, I'm thankful to you for giving us that opportunity, okay, because we, it's not like we, we're doing this 
uh, simply for charity. Yes, we are doing it for charity, but as well, we are getting much out of it because you as a winner carrying our brand makes us winners as well. All right, so uh, we want to also encourage you to continue on that, on that pace that you're going because I'm very impressed myself and I know when I send the remarks and, and, the, and the, the, the updates to our team in, in Guadeloupe, they will be very impressed as well. Um, Mr. Charles, I would like to take the opportunity to tell you, please get in touch with me on that two dollar Dominic. I, I'm very interested in that. Very, very interested in that. I want to be part of that, or I should say we want to be part of that, that organization. So that when it comes forth, forth you know, we, we can say that from, from, from the initiation we would uh, trying to assist. And, and I think it will be a good opportunity because you have two dollar Martin, two dollar Guadeloupe. So two dollar Dominic is it's it's a gift, it's a gift, but you can't go wrong. Okay, so we want to be part of that, so please get in touch with us. Uh, at your next meeting you can invite me. Um, so we can see how we can move forward from there. Okay, on that note I'd like to say thank you to the media. Thank you for taking your time out to come and to support also and to make Ajani known in Dominica as the newest uh, rising star in, in, in Dominica and you've been making us proud all over um, regionally and soon internationally. I think he mentioned to me that um, his, his father mentioned to me that he wants to participate in Tour de la France. So that's a very good goal to, to pursue and as much as we can, we will assist you to to, to, to reach that goal. Okay, so thank you very much, and uh, best of luck. Thank you, Hans. And right now, just take a few minutes, maybe about two, three minutes, just if the media have any questions for Ajani, his father, Mr. Charles, or even us uh, agents for expresses. Okay, so Ajani, um, you risen very quickly. You know, are you surprised if, you know, how quickly you've risen up the ranks? And just give an idea as to how you know, you've been going about in terms of preparing yourself for this sort of event. Well, I find um, actually that I have risen extremely fast due to the fact of my races and training in Dominica. Because usually when I'm training, I'm training with guys like Kevon, Poak, Levi, which which at the time when I was not as good was way stronger than me. So they actually aided indirectly in my development in the races and all that. And um, I am very proud um, of, of, of where I am, but I can't let it get to my head. I have to, I have to <laughs> continue um, and um, just continue doing, uh, doing what the best that I can with the help of uh, Yahweh. And, um, yeah, that's actually it. Okay. A few months ago, maybe a year ago, you would have been unknown to the writers in the press. Right now, they would have been seeing you top of the chat. So, you know, you think they're probably doing their homework now against you? I, see, yes, I, I think so. I think so. Actually, um, the next race I'm going to do, I am going to be a, a judge. I'm going to be the judge of the race. I'm going to be a marker for them because, because um, when, when I was in Matnik, I was getting some of the coaches saying that if I attack or if I go, I am a person to follow. So I I know it's not gonna be it's not gonna be an easy journey to to um to to win because I'm going to be a very much marker and everyone it's gonna be difficult to escape from a group because they know me as a as a good enough rider. So um but it's a challenge that um, that I can overcome. Um, it's not an insurmountable challenge. I, I believe that I can um, I can do it. Uh, Kevin, my great help in you know my um, equipment and all that, servicing and all that, and um, you know information techniques and all that. So yeah. Can you tell us? Um, do you know? what the route is like and how that's for your upcoming race and, and how different is it from what you're accustomed to in Dominica? Well, if I'm being honest, it's not much different because they are still going to have hills, but it's longer because from what I saw so far, the first race, it's a series of five races. So, so the first race is 
it's like a two kilometer race just to decide um it's a time trap so it's just to decide like the overall winner and then the first real race is 80 kilometers with a few hills and flats and a little bit more challenging than um than um here sometimes but and the race is at 80 the first race is 80 kilometers the next race is 75 kilometers the next race is 53 and then the last race is around 76 kilometers overall around 200 kilometers just in the span of four days so <laughs> it's it's uh, it's 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 gonna be a challenging one but it's nothing that i cannot overcome uh, with uh, good support and help any modifications or so on to your to your to your bike? Um, well, before the before the the race, well, I intend I intend on I'm getting a new set of wheels because as we saw in the last race, due to not having any spears, I I wasn't able to you know you know yes, but I intend to get um, rims so. In the case of any mishaps, I, you know, I have that quick change, and um, yeah, that that is the only modification I really intend on doing for the time being. Okay, okay question for you. Um, we are representing the language department at the Yates Radio, um, French Creole, and we heard mentioned that um, you're, you're working on your French, and presently we know that <laughs> you you'll be traveling to French islands. Yes. Um, how has it been for you that experience with the language? Has it helped you? Do you think it's necessary? Oh, it, it, it has helped me a lot because if I, my traveling between the French islands helps me to improve my French, makes me, um, I learn new words in speaking French. I learn new words. When I, when I, when I look at a French guy and I was like, what are you saying? And then they really explain to me what they're saying. I get to learn new French words. I get to increase my capacity of the French language. And I believe it really helps me in school also. Um, that um, I believe me going, it's school helps me go in between the islands. And I encourage a lot of people to, to continue learning languages because you just never know. And, because I took the opportunity to really learn the language, I am able to communicate easily between the people. Because if I didn't really know French, it would be very difficult for me to really have that communication and moving up and about and all that. So it's something that I would encourage. Okay, uh, thank you. So will your coach be on the route with you or, or not, like riding along? Um, for for the next stop, yes. I think he would be doing a race, so I don't think he would be on. be there. Okay. I think my father that that would be with him. So. Oh. Any other questions? Okay, thank you all very much. Uh, we are going to refresh myself. There you have it, folks. You just Thank witnessed you so the much. official sponsorship of Ajanaya Kazimi, locally known as Ajani Kazimi, by Express in And of course, this is an incredible gesture from Express to aid Ajani in his travels back and forth. And we also want to continue to wish the young man well as he continues to represent Dominica in the sport of cycling. Thank you for choosing MU News. Have a good day, all. Yes, I think I'll